FM3780, a very cool unique truck that was added to the game in season 12. Now how to unlock this truck? For unlocking FEM, it's better to have the garage in reactive zone map discovered. It's not necessary, but I think it's better to have that garage discovered. And we're gonna start our journey from that garage. For unlocking FEM, you have to complete the abandoned giant contract. For that, you get out of the garage in reactive zone map, you turn left and you follow the paved road until you get to the tunnel that takes you to Oviero Hills or Oviero Hills or whatever it is. Now what truck you should use for this contract? You basically can use any truck that you want, but it's better to use a truck that has at least an extra 100 liters of fuel because that FEM is out of fuel and pulling that big of a truck is very difficult when the engine of that truck is not on. But again, that's not necessary. It just helps you to do this contract easier. You don't need to repair or refuel the FEM. Alright, so once you got to the Oviero Hills, you don't need to drive that much. You go forward for like a couple of meters, you see the detour sign, take the detour and after 10 seconds, you're gonna see Fem sitting over there. Put some fuel in Fem and start going back. Once you're back in reactive zone, take this dirt road and start going west until you get to the destination right here. So once you got to the destination and unlocked FEM, if you don't have a truck with a crane to pick up the cargo, make sure you dump FEM so when you recover this truck, you wouldn't lose the cargo on FEM because maybe you would use that cargo later on in future. Alright, before we finish this video, if you drive FEM, you see that it doesn't have diff lock right now. So I'm gonna show you the location of diff lock upgrade for this truck. The diff lock upgrade for FEM is right here in flatland map. For getting to this upgrade, if you got here from Oviero Hills, take this dirt road and you drive for a bit and you get to the upgrade. And if you got here from Pine Line Bay, you need to follow this route. That's it for today's video. I see you in the next one.